Okay, so, so but a lot of you have. Um, and right now the product is in beta and Infosol is a beta customer. So we've had a chance to kick the tires, you know, play with it and so forth. And like I said at the beginning of the session, um, we, um, uh, we don't expect to see this in, in general release until um, the end of June, beginning of July. And after that even, you know, another 12 months for ready to get this, this uh, software totally consolidated. But it is a big change. And so here's an opportunity with our presentation right now to, uh, to show you some of that, uh, some of the things you're going to be seeing in, uh, in the new Webby 4.3. So with that said, over to you. All right. This will be a very short presentation. No, I'm just <laughs> it's 4.3. All right, so. There's nothing new coming. There's no order. All right, so first disclaimer, don't hate, appreciate, right? <laughs> Nobody likes change, right? You know, when you went from Windows 7 to Windows 10, you're like, ah, what is this? So if that was your reaction, it's going to be tenfold <laughs> for this one. But what we will do is I'm going to show you a few new features. Um, so I'll show you a PowerPoint from SAP that they showed us, and then we'll jump in and actually see Webby and also a few new features that they, have, that they have added in CMC. So if you haven't had the chance to attend our webinar, now you get to see it first time. All right, big list, beta limitation, or before that, let me explain you beta, right? So it's not a complete product. They are developing it as we speak, but whatever they have done so far, they have shared it with their partners and testing partners so that you know we can just take a look at what we have available and go over it and provide them a feedback. So once we're done with this presentation, if you have a feedback, let me know and we'll try our best to you know, send it to the right person so that they can implement it and help make the product better. I'm not gonna read that, but you, know, you get an idea. Don't do a lot of it. <coughs> All right, a um, few things. You know, input controls not working, document linking not working, doesn't mean that it's not going to work in the uh, GA release. What they have done is they have given us few things that are not going to work in the major GA release. One of them, it, them is customization. If you have used customization in CMC, it's not going to work in the GA release. What does that mean? A lot of people are going to hate it and wait for it because if you had used <laughs> custom, <laughs> if you had used customization, basically what you're doing is you're hiding folders and reports for your for a user group, and if that's not going to work when that user logs in, they're going to see everything, right? So, a big red flag. If you're using customization a lot, then GA release obviously you know won't work. Another one is, anybody uses extensions, Webby extensions, custom extensions developed? All right, so that's not going to work. As like they said, 4.2 code line will not be leveraged in 4.3 GA, which means you got to wait till they come up with a workaround or something. Shared elements. Everybody uses shared elements? Yeah, a lot? Okay. Good thing is, it's going to work. Bad thing is, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> It means if somebody asks you to make a change to a master formula that's housed in that shared element, unfortunately, you won't be able to edit it. Uh, but yeah, that's where they are. Query as web service. No? OK. So that also won't work. <laughs> change so, uh, what they have introduced. Yeah. First version coming up in June, the zero version, which, I mean, at least they're telling us, you know, these things are in the pipeline, but just because of the nature of the code that they have to work on, they know they will need to address it separately. So they are saying, we'll go ahead with the release, but these are a few things we're letting you know definitely will not work in GA release. So, you know, just a disclaimer there. Uh, and good for us to know, you know, if none of this is on, your environment, you're good, right? You have no restrictions. Um, 
One new feature that they are going to introduce in 4.3 is you can use Webby as a data source. Is that good? Can you think creatively how you can use another Webby to use the results of that Webby report as a data source for another Webby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So right? In other words, you can you stick the universe on top of the Webby output. So you can you know, create, say, a combination Webby report that's pulling so sources from many if you places. Worked, if you worked now, office. you can make that the Live source office. for a whole bunch of users <laughs> Yes. I missed that question already. That's okay. Feel free to swap me away. Um, no, no. Uh, so one of the things that uh, Kevin and I were talking about on our whip day is that very similar to the Power BI data model, like one of the things that's tough in Webby is once you start merging a bunch of different ways to want to make an inner join and then using the you know merge extended dimension is tough. What they need is the ability to kind of like Tableau, right, to where you're bringing So, I agree because even we are thinking about how this can be used, how it can be combined with universe or any other data source, mix and match it. But in beta, I'll show you how it can, how we can start it. But that's not available, <laughs> even for testing. So we don't know what to expect on. And you're right, you know, one data source is this way. How can I work on it? Because right now, the only thing that we can do within a report is a combined query. Can you do a union? Yeah. You know, those are the only three things from query perspective is what you can do. But yeah, using Webby as a data source, can we do joins on the entire data set? I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, point taken. <laughs> right, so. Um, BI Workspace, anyone uses BI Workspace? You, you should keep your hand up for it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but that's good. You're leveraging all the features, and that is the purpose of the tool. So that's good. BI Workspace is one of my favorite features. Unfortunately, you won't be able to use it um, right off the bat. So let's see what they come up with an alternative because a lot of organization, or quite a few organizations who use it, use it heavily in such a way that using this feature, you create a custom landing page. So if marketing team logs in, they, the home page that they see is relevant to them. They see their reports, they see their dashboard, they see their instances, that's it. So it was really good, but I don't know. <laughs> good is going away, or are they gonna work on it? So we'll no, wait. They're working on it, right? Yeah. Okay. It's so not be in, in the GA release. All right, HANA online, SAP HANA, no one? Okay, I'll skip that slide as well. All right, so what's new in the UI? Let's look at a few things. First thing, don't get shocked when you look at the new UI. No, don't roll your eyes either, <laughs> right? So. <laughs> All right, so escape. It's in both. All right. A rejuvenated user experience, not my words, right? <laughs> Right. <laughs> rejuvenated user experience. This is slide straight from SAP. Uh, you know they've shared that this one with us. It is a mock-up <laughs> since it's a beta version. Things can change, so it is subject to change. But this is the new UI in edit mode. What major difference do you see? Basically, everything that you did for editing was on the left is now moved to right. 
Why? Intuitive design. Well, that's what they have to say, not my words. <laughs> right? So, like I said, change. What, uh, I mean, I'll log in and I'll show you why they have come up with this. But the main idea here is in the SAP ecosystem, they want to keep the look and feel of each and every product similar. So they have something that they call a Fiori interface. And that is what they're leveraging right now. And that leads me to my question. You guys said you have 4.2. How many of you use a Fiori Launchpad? Thank you. For those of you who do not use Fiori Launchpad, you have it. All you have to do is start using it slowly, slowly. The good thing with 4.2 version of Fiori right now is you can use it to view. If you do edit, it goes back to the original edit mode, basically. It won't be this one right here. So start training users slowly, slowly by introducing them to the Fiori Launchpad. That way, they don't get a shock when they see things for the first time in the major version. They have about a year, year and a half to you know, transition gradually. Reading mode, a uh, few things. So yeah, is this is the UI. Um, it's same as a Fiori Launchpad right now, but the components have changed up there. They have introduced a few good new features, too, that can be used. Um, you know, edit is still there uh, in the right place. Toolbar. So they're, you know, they are following the Microsoft ribbon style, basically file, data, insert. So those things are still there. So you will be able to correlate. That has not gone away. That is still there. The only major difference for me is for the entire product life, everything was on the left side. Now, <laughs> you'll be on the right side. I'm like, OK. So we'll have to just learn that piece. Otherwise, it's not that bad. Um, you can select uh, you know, input controls. It's no different from the right hand is on your right, and on the side is on your right. Pretty simple. Switch the pen. Thank you. <laughs> Tabs to cascade. Yeah, so they have three that. folder tabs in the development, right? And and looks like it's going cascading almost. Mm, no. So based on your, I'll show it to you actually when I log in. Uh, yeah, we'll just skip all the slides and just jump in. That way, whatever you want to see. I think that would be easier. Yeah. Few things that we like that they have introduced is chart animation and auto refresh, so new UI. All right, so, so far it's the same as the new, or the existing BI Launchpad, right? Right. I know. The color scheme that they have you, is the same for me on my screen, too. There are things up there that you can't read. It says home, favorite, recent documents, but that's the same for me. You know, we can actually click on them, but they are showing the same thing right here. So documents, instances, categories. So this is your landing page. Um, this can be customized. That already has been introduced in 4.2 SP6 onwards. It's called the theme designer. So there is a separate WAR file that you need to deploy. And then you can customize your existing Fiori Launchpad's look and feel for your organization. So you can add company logo. And that is very easy. So just keep a note if you wanted to play more with your existing Fiori interface. But this is the home page. Home page shows you my home, favorites, and, you know, you have now the opportunity to add or, uh, you know, favorites, basically. Recent documents, all recent documents. So it's the same as before. You know, you could see different boxes, inbox. Right now you see like four boxes. They have just made it this way, basically. Um, 
Okay, this will work. I just have to log off and log back in. Again, I'll log off and log back in. What I'm trying to show is, um, you know, if you have explored the existing uh, Fiori Launchpad, they have retained it. Uh, they have.